This week, fifth grade, our learning target in ELA is I can determine a theme of a story and explain how characters respond to challenges. This week, we are wrapping up A Wrinkle in Time. So we're going to look at some of the themes developed in this novel. Let's explore a theme from A Wrinkle in Time. Remember, a theme is a message or lesson that can be learned from the text. A book might have many themes, and the theme that I pull from a book, something that I might have learned, could be different than a theme that you have learned. But let's look in chapter two. In chapter two, this question says, the morning after the scary storm and the strange meeting with Mrs. What's It, Meg responds by telling her mother that she wishes it had all been a dream. How does this develop a theme of the story? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is go back to my book. I'm gonna go back to chapter two, and I'm going to just skim over, reread the part that this question is talking about. So I found on page 29 that I could go back and read. Um, I hoped it was a dream, Meg said. Her mother carefully turned over four slices of French toast, then said in a steady voice, no, Meg, don't hope it was a dream. I don't understand it any more than you do, but one thing I've learned is that you don't have to understand things for them to be. I'm sorry, I showed you I was upset. Your father and I used to have a joke about Tesseract. And then uh, Meg starts to ask questions and her mom uh, goes on to say, well, it's time to start the day. Her brothers come in, that kind of a thing. So we think about a theme. We think, what can I learn from this part? What is it that Meg's mom said that really stood out? She said, don't hope it was a dream. I don't understand it any more than you do, but one thing I've learned is that you don't have to understand things for them to be. So she's explaining here to Meg that even though this was hard to understand, even though it might have been really frustrating, disturbing, mind boggling to learn all of these things last night, it's still better to learn about them than just to pretend that they never existed, just to pretend that it was a dream. As we look over some of our other answer choices here, you can see the one marked that's correct. They are kind of close to, <coughs> excuse me, but not quite the message that Meg's mother was trying to teach her. She wasn't trying to tell her that it's important to guard her emotions. Meg's mother is quite the opposite. She did apologize for showing that she was upset, but she's very open and honest with her family about how she feels. Meg's mother did share a little joke about Tesseract, but that wasn't really because Meg told her she wished it was all a dream. And then she shares that when things happen that are difficult to understand, you should spend a little time to figure that out. Possibly that's a true statement in many things in life, but that's not what Meg's mom said here. So our first choice, her mother explains when disturbing things happen, it's better to learn from them than pretend they're not real. Let's look at one more example here. We're going to read an excerpt from chapter three. This time the question gave it to us, so I'm going to read from the screen. With a sudden enthusiastic gesture, Calvin flung his arms out wide as though he were embracing Meg and her mother. The whole house. How did this all happen? Isn't it wonderful? I feel as though I were just being born. I'm not alone anymore. Do you realize what that means to me? But you're good at basketball and things, Meg protested. You're good in school. Everybody likes you. For all the most unimportant reasons, Calvin said, there hasn't been anybody, anybody in the world that I could talk to. Sure, I can function on the same level as everybody else. I can hold myself down, but it isn't me. Meg took a batch of forks from the drawer and turned them over and over, looking at them. I'm all confused again. Let's look at our question. What theme is developed in this excerpt? So remember theme, what is learned? What lesson can we learn from this experience between Calvin and Meg? There is great comfort in making connections with others. Popularity comes with athletic talent and intelligence. One can never show enough gratitude for the kindness of others or talking about strong feelings can be upsetting. Well, right off the bat, there are two that I would cross off here. The one about popularity and the one about talking about strong feelings can be just 
removed immediately. That's not what we could learn from this passage. Now, as we look through our remaining two, we see that Calvin feels so comfortable, more himself than he's ever felt before being around Meg and her mom and the opportunity to be with their family. He says, it's, um, I lost my spot. I'm not alone anymore. Do you realize what that means to me? It's wonderful. So he is finding great comfort in making those connections with others. Part B, which detail from the text best supports our answer from A? Well, as we read through these, our first one here, I feel as though I were just being born. I'm not alone anymore. Do you realize what this means to me? That definitely supports the theme that Calvin finds such comfort in making connections with Meg and her mom. And that may not just be true of Calvin. A theme is something that anybody can learn from. So you and I and others around us can find great comfort when we make a connection with someone else. So I hope this helps as we think through some of the themes that can be learned from A Wrinkle in Time.